I'm Jemaine. Welcome to my channel. You're joining me here in my garden in Switzerland, Central Europe. And today I'm going to be working on the roadside of the garden. It's been raining a lot the past couple of days and things have just been growing out of control. We have a lot of weed, the hedge is completely <laughs> growing disproportionately and I need to take care of that. So let me show you a little bit what I'm talking about. So the roadside garden actually starts um, from here, from this point. Uh, this is the side entry to the front garden. And um, the hedge runs just uh, round, round the, com the whole garden. So let me turn the camera and show you a bit <laughs> what it looks like. So here's what I'm talking about. This laurier hedge that you see here, we planted every single little plant ourselves uh, more than eight years ago when we first built the house. It's fully matured now and uh, it produces a lot of side shoots and uh, I need to constantly uh, trim that and control the size of it. I also need to take care of all the weed that is growing between the evergreen log cover that you see uh, right here. And finally, I need to provide some structure into the you know the type of flowers that I want to, to, to have on the roadside. I've never really done that. I've occasionally just put a, a flower there just to see how it's performing. So I'm going to go ahead and start with, first of all, removing all the weed. I'm done with weeding now and I'm jumping straight into um, trimming the, the hedge because it's getting pretty dark and I believe that it's going to start raining pretty soon. I really want to get this done today so I don't want to waste any time. So uh, in order to cut to trim the, the hedge I'm using an electric trimmer. Uh, it's the one that I'm really used to uh, working with and it's, uh, it's very light and uh, practical. To avoid having to pick up all the leaves and all the, the short branches that would fall from the hedge, I'm using this big plastic cover, putting it on the floor to kind of like catch all the, 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 the side shoots that are falling from the hedge while I'm trimming it. And then I just gather everything and I put it in the green container. So that reduces the amount of work that I have to do after the hedge trimming. So I have the top done and the inner side uh, of the hedge. Now I'm doing the outside part of it and in order to reach those side shoots that are located in difficult corners, I need to use my pruning shears to cut them. Uh, it's lots, lots uh, practical and much easier. So that's what I'm doing right here. So I did finish trimming the hedge in time before the rain started falling, but it, uh, it took another two days before I could continue with that project because it, uh, it was raining the whole time and there's nothing um, I could do in the garden. 
So the next step after trimming the hedge would be to create a space in which I want to plant the new things that I want to have growing on the roadside. And right now I'm just removing that uh, evergreen and any other plant that I had in that space that I want to, to free up. And I'll be taking the ground cover mostly and uh, placing it in places where uh, the ground cover has not been performing that well, just to create more volume. In so now that I've cleared up the bed on which I want to plant the roses, the ground cover roses and lavender that I'll be using in this space, I think everything is beginning to look really nice. I also already have some of the plants like the peony and the hoster that I want to put in the corner uh, at the border between me and the neighbor and I think that would look really lovely there. So I'm going to go straight ahead and start planting those first. So this variety of hosta is also known as the blue mammoth. It is due to become really, really big and I hope that it's going to fill up the space in that corner. I also have a, a peony that I'm putting in uh, while the hosta is still small. I might have to remove one or the other with time, but right now I'm going to plant both of them and uh, see what is, uh, is performing best in that particular corner. Now the peony uh, versus the hosta, the peony prefers to be more in the sun why the hosta would like a more shaded area. This corner is, uh, is providing kind of both. It would normally be a sunny area but because we have the, the hedge here, the low rear hedge and the, the, the fence, the metal fence from the neighbor, this particular area enjoys both um, the sun and has uh, some protection uh, provided by those two uh, fences. So I'm just going to plant both, both plants in and, and see how they perform. So here's what we have right now. Uh, I've put the peony at the back and the hosta in front just because of the sizes they have right now. My hope is that the hosta would actually outperform the peony and grow into this massive big plant that would completely cover that corner. Moving on to the other side of the of the roadside garden where I want to plant new things. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put roses here. Uh, I think uh, ground cover roses and uh, some lavender will be will provide a, you know something really interesting to look at uh, on this uh, front side of the garden. I think I've found a combination that would work for the for the plants. Um, I've been moving them around, displaying them, you know, putting them in different positions, and I think now that I just have the right set. So I'm going to go with that and then plant everything, and I could celebrate. Wow, I'm so happy. I cannot believe that I'm done with this project. We don't see many blooms right now, but I think in a couple of weeks time, when the roses will uh, would have established, we'll see uh, a lot more color. And when that lavender will come into full maturity, uh, it's going to look splendid and smell just um, exquisite. So, so I'm using this dwarf variety of roses here. First of all, I love the color. I think uh, it's just uh, the right amount of, uh, of color for me. And uh, the fact that it's ground cover and that it's going to grow large and just uh, cover the space on the floor and provide lots of blooms, that is what initially um, made me decide to go with this uh, variety. So this particular one is called the Rose Mirato. It's supposed to just grow about 50 to 60 centimeters. It's very winter hardy and uh, it loves to be in the sun. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing it uh, grow here and uh, deliver those blooms, those blooms that uh, it is promising. I'm combining the, the roses with this uh, variety of lavender, which is gentle in color, but really intense in the, in the scent. 
So I'm looking forward to everything here uh, establishing itself and uh, growing to their maturity and full size. And from then on, I'll see if I have to take something out um, or add something new. Um, right now, I'm just happy that everything is is seeming to you know to be just where I want to have it, and I really couldn't be happier. So that was it. This is the end of the project. Um, I'm really happy that I got this done. I'm really excited to see the hedge trimmed now. Uh, to have all those bad weeds gone from the roadside garden and to have planted these beautiful flowers, uh, those roses and that lavender. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing um, something new in this front space. That was it guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you now next video. Bye bye.